Hello third grade and welcome to my blanket fort. As you can see, there's books and pillows and of course my whale stuffed animal here. So I'm here because I'm going to show you guys how to make an origami whale. And what you need for making an origami whale is you need at least a square sheet of paper. If you have origami paper, that's awesome, but you don't have to have that. If you just have regular printer paper or construction paper, I can show you how to fold it so that we can turn it into a square piece of paper. And then if you want to, you should either have a cotton ball, one sheet of toilet paper, or a tissue in order to do an extra little detail for making our origami whale. So you can pause the video now and collect all of the things you need, and then once we come back, you'll see me at my desk, and we will, well you won't see me, you'll see my hands at my desk, and we'll continue with making the whale. Okay, so I am back. Hopefully by now you have your supplies square sheet of paper. If you don't have a square sheet of paper or an origami paper, we need to make one. So that's why I have the construction paper here to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do with the construction paper is we want to make this edge of the piece of paper line up with this edge over here. So I'm going to peel and fold this over so that this perfectly matches up over here on this edge. And press it down. And now I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut this section off, and then I have a nice little triangle. So hopefully you have some scissors, or hopefully you can have your parents maybe do this if they are available. So now I have my triangle. And we actually, I'm going to move on using this sheet of paper instead of the origami paper because then I can color it after if I want to. So, we're going to open up our sheet of paper. We have one of our folds done. Make sure you do the opposite fold. So now I have two folds, you can see. We're going to keep the sheet of paper like so. And what I'm going to do is now take this edge here and match it up with that fold that we made right there. And press it down again. So I now have my first fold. Then what we need to do is we need to take this section and do the same thing folding in. So we're gonna fold in and make sure that this edge matches that fold. Now we get to see this funny little flap here. We're gonna do something a little sneaky. We're gonna open the flap and pull this out. So now it's still folded. And I'm going to send it back over that direction. So now I have just taken this hidden section, taken it out so it's out, and folded it back over there. That is going to be part of the flipper. So this edge here now has to match up with where it is folded in the middle of this. we have this funny shape. We have the flipper, we have the top of the whale started, and we have our at least flipper fin, if you can see that, in there. So we have done the top part, now we need to deal with the bottom part of the whale. So what I'm going to do with this entire sheet of paper is flip it over. So again, we have our first part of our whale done, we've flipped it over, and now we're back to no folds. So what I need you guys to do now is we're going to work on the bottom part of the whale. So we're going to take this edge and match it up nicely with that line here. Then what I want you to do is take this edge and fold it up there as well. Now we still have this 
little fold here, which is fine. But now this is even, but I want to make it uneven. So I want to take this edge again and fold it back up. Same spot, kind of like making an airplane. So now we're exact, not exactly even here or there. But if you flip it back over, we still have our fin. This is the head part of the whale. This is going to be the tail part of the whale. So what I want you to do now is we're going to make and create the head and the tail. So we're going to flip it back over, fold this in, and this can be however you want to. You can put it at any angle. I'm just going to put it straight, which again, you can change it to however you want to. This one though does have to be folded up, aiming this way. So it's got to be kind of at a funny angle. But again, however you want to do that angle, that's up to you. So now we have the back of the whale. And then we can flip it over and you have a whale flipper, its head, its tail. You can even fold this forward. So if you pick it up, you have a little part of the tail coming forwards. And then the fun part is if you have a marker, of course I have a pink marker, you can add a lovely eyeball and a little smile and then this part is for whether or not you want to actually use the cotton ball or the tissue or the toilet paper so I'm gonna use a cotton ball but if you kind of stretch it out a little bit I'm gonna actually attach it to the back of my whale so my whale has a little bit of a spout Now, if you do not have a cotton ball and want to use a piece of toilet paper instead, we can turn this into a spout as well by just however you want to. Either crunch it up like this and do that, and then you can attach it like this. Or if you have a tissue, you can break the tissue up into a smaller piece similar to the size of the toilet paper. You can even break this up into something smaller if you need to. But however you want to, you can add a little spout to your fancy, fancy will. But I'm gonna use the cotton ball like I said before. So let's attach my cotton ball. I have a very tiny stapler right here. And now I have a goofy whale with a spout and a smile. And if you don't have a stapler, if you have tape, you can also use a piece of tape to affix the tissue, toilet paper, whatever you have. So if you just take a tiny little piece of tape, like so, and fold it over. So you make a little 3D piece of tape. Put it right on the edge of the whale, and then fold the cotton ball over. You can flip it over and add a piece of tape onto the other side of this. And again, affix the cotton ball so it won't fall off. And it also can block the little staple if you don't wanna see that. And also you can add tape to these folds to tape them down if you want to. But overall, we have a little paper wheel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks, bye.